Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading, but because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into this here. I have your pre-shuffle energies, um, which consists of the Hermit, which is officially your card here. So you are in some senses showing up in your reading, but you have the Hermit, the World, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups with the Six of Swords as the overall energy under at the bottom of the deck. So already the message for you virgo or the the energetic situation for you i guess is better to say is one of introspection okay but uh have, i'm hearing i'm hearing having come to terms with yourself or maybe certain aspects of yourself having realized certain aspects of yourself having learned certain things about yourself um or the nature of your reality or what it is that you may desire um something that would be emot ultimately emotionally fulfilling i feel like you're putting you're in an energy or in the process of putting to rest or closing out anything that keeps you from moving towards this ten of cups energy Okay, this could have to do with family. Um, this could be setting the record straight with family because you do have the Knight of Swords here. It could be in terms of having a family or starting a family. I am hearing owning a home. That's pretty specific. Um, 
Yeah, and it just I just feel like you've really come to terms with yourself or some greater aspects, elements, or maybe challenges about yourself, about your life that you may have been, been experiencing lately. I I just especially with this Knight of Swords energy, I get a feeling that there is there are action steps being taken to close out some sort of cycle, to leave something in the past behind. And deep and, and and I'm also feeling an energy of fiercely defending your right to be happy and feel fulfilled. However, that resonates for you, regardless of what other people have to say. I'm with this hermit energy, I'm getting a very strong feeling that um and to be quite honest, now that I think about it, this does kind of fall a little bit in line with what I've been channeling for Virgos for the last few months on my channel, but um I just feel like you went through this extensive introspection process that has led you to believe that certain elements in your life need to come to an end. That's what I just heard. In service of being happy, feeling loved, feeling fulfilled, okay? There may be an energy of putting more of a focus on emotional fulfillment than where it could have been elsewhere otherwise where it might have potentially been in financial or physical status um, 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 um possessions the material there might be a more of a, a focus on the emotional now okay all right virgo cool so let's get uh let's Let's just shuffle this up a little bit here. Let's reset, and then we're going to see what else we have for your month of December, yeah? Cool. All right. One shuffle. All right, guys. Here we go, Virgo. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, we're giving this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got here. All right, well, I'm seeing purple, Virgo. So for my Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. I, again, I'm seeing purple. Um, there may be an energy of really connecting with your feminine side. That would be more for those that are more on the masculine oriented. And this is, this is energy, not gender. Um, this is three for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Um, I, I kind of get the feeling that maybe what's influencing you, Virgo, this is four, towards um, placing more emphasis or at least more focus on emotional fulfillment, happiness, and health is coming from a place of higher wisdom esoteric wisdom spirituality spiritual wisdom or maybe just an influence from the spiritual world okay Boop. all right virgo overall energy here you have the eight of swords and it's interesting because the last the last reading that i did for you for the month of November, I, wasn't that called jailbreak? So it seems here that um, breaking free from sort of mental prison really is a sort of like a, um, a, a major theme for you right now, Virgo. Underneath the Eight of Swords, wow, yeah, look at that. You got the Ten of Swords, followed by the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Excellent, Virgo. So here's the deal. What this is really, what this is talking about here, Virgo, I might need some more light. No, we're fine. Um, so you're breaking free. You. This is definitely a continuation of 
what we were talking about last month for a lot of you in terms of breaking free from sort of mental confinement or some sort of chains, ending some sort of situation here that has been really, really toxic, burdensome, destructive. It could be, it could have to do with family. Okay, I am hearing that. But it is all in service of unconditional love and love for yourself. Ace of Cups. Okay. And there's and, and and I feel I really feel like there is a conscious effort that's being made here on your behalf, Virgo, to really work on bettering yourself or being a best the best version of yourself that you that you can be. Um, self-mastery, because that's what I see here with the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles can, three of pentacles can represent entrepreneurialship it can also represent teamwork but it and and on um, with all that it can also represent um self-mastery okay and that's really the vibe that i'm getting here it's like you're you're setting things straight you're putting things in order it's almost as if you're taking your power back if you want to see it that way you absolutely could but there's a level of taking your power back in service of bettering your life excellent virgo Okay, so let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading you have. Okay, there you go. The Page of Pentacles. Starting over. Turning over a new leaf is what I just heard. Um, starting a, a new path. Starting on a new journey. Um, this, the Knight of Pentacles. I'm not sorry, not the Knight. The Page of Pentacles. Did I say the Knight of Pentacles before? I meant the Page of Pentacles if I did. Um, but the Page of Pentacles is an energy of, in my opinion as a reader, a level up. Having reached a new level, having reached a new energetic state and now trying to find your footing or just trying to learn how to, how to, uh, how to uh, survive and thrive in this new level, in this new reality, in, this new, in these new surroundings. But this is also, I really do feel like you, this is embarking on your own. This is the, this is you starting this new level of commitment to yourself even. And also this could be, this is definitely your energy. I do see the pages and the knights as the mutable energies with, or signs within the elements. And so for the earth sign, that would be Virgo. Okay. I definitely do feel like this is you here. Page of pentacles is coupled with okay virgo yes judgment it's almost as if you're finally answering some sort of call or or conversely maybe you're finally able to hear the call that is being sent out either way you're answering it for sure leveling up excellent virgo second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading the emperor well my 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 there is that energy of taking your power back you could be dealing with an aries you might have aries in your chart but that's really not that important it's not like i'm feeling any sort of real love vibes for you right now other than the unconditional love that you're holding for yourself other than the focus on filling your own cup with this ace of cups energy the emperor is that energy of owning yourself owning your surroundings taking responsibility stepping up manning up womaning up whatever you know what i mean taking your power back the emperor is coupled with the hanged man well i'll tell you this virgo it was not easy for you to get here okay you really i really do feel like you have you have What's the word I'm looking for? I guess assimilated, a change in perspective. That's not the right word. You have acquired, there it is, acquired a change in perspective here. That, and I, I, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, Virgo, this feels quite humbling. So say in, in an energy where like maybe in the past you may have been this emperor energy but you were like maybe really controlling maybe a bit narcissistic maybe a little bit stuck up maybe a bit full of yourself um whatnot whatever what this feels like now is having changed uh, having received or achieved a change in perspective that hasn't taken your power away whoa i just saw eleven eleven on the counter hasn't taken your power away but has humbled you 
to the state or to a place where you can be the master of your own domain, but that doesn't mean that you have to be domineering about on anyone else. But that also with that comes the idea that no one should be domineering you, should be domineering over you. You're in control of your life. You want to be in control of your life and you would appreciate it if you would allow people to be the in control of your life, period. And it kind of feels like you're not really gonna stand for anything else. This is great, Virgo. Your challenge in the first half of your reading. Ooh, the two of cups. And what I'm hearing with this Virgo is coming together with someone. So maybe, <clears throat> Mm, okay. So now here we go. Now the romantic energy is coming into play here. This two of cups could represent the balance of masculine and feminine energy within, you know, those two opposing sides of your energetic makeup, just like everyone else. Everybody has it coming together and working in tandem. However, I really feel like this is a romantic situation that is a bit of a challenge for you right now. Because when I saw that two of cups, when it came out, I heard coming together with, in a relationship with someone. And that could be someone from your past. Two of Cups is coupled with, holy shit. <laughs> the lovers, Virgo. Good golly, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but also this could be a twin flame situation. And this could be a reading for the divine masculine in that situation here. Good golly, Miss Molly. You know, I should have just called it out when I felt it before. But what I was feeling when that Two of Cups came out is this, this, this relationship in question or this relationship that's coming up now has been extremely challenging for you, has actually been a catalyst for you. Now, okay. Let me play devil's advocate here. Let's talk twin flames. You may be in separation with someone and there could be, it's seemingly no possible way that you can come back together with this person. That's fine. You don't need to, okay? Unless that's within your, your soul contract, what, what not, whatever, and I'm not about to get into that. That's something that you would need to decipher for yourself, but it, it doesn't necessarily so that you have to come back together with this person. The challenge here, so let me say it this way, the challenge here is to align with some sort of higher level, higher echelon, higher vibrating divine union or partnership. I do feel like for some of you, there is a specific person that you're kind of wanting to reconnect with, but I just heard she is mad at me. Eh, well. I mean, <laughs> it's very interesting that the two of cups and the lovers came out in your challenge position in the very same position together, because also the two of cups can be seen as a minor arcana version of the lovers. So there could be a spiritual union, a union in energetic form in like, we'll say the fifth, dim fifth dimension that is working its way into manifestation in the three dimensional in third dimension, okay? It's entirely possible. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, you have the world again. Endings of some cycles, ending of, I'm hearing toxic and narcissistic cycles, okay? That's good. World, the world is coupled with the queen of wands. Huh. So now we get into the feminine here. Now this, especially in terms of the, um, in terms of the twin flame collective, twin flame, what not, whatever, that whole situation, cards that represent that energy, the lovers, the emperor, which would represent the divine masculine. His counterpart would be the divine feminine. In the minor arcana, you have the king and the queen of wands, the king representing the divine masculine, the queen of wands representing the divine feminine. It seems here, <clears throat> that the queen of wands or the feminine in this situation has helped to catalyze the end of certain situations. So absolutely, that would fall right in line with 
the whole twin flame archetype and how things have been running lately because the feminine has very much has always really been leading the way spiritually whereas the masculine would lead the way uh physically however the feminine has been basically influencing the masculine to kind of do his work and answer his calling right judgment just by pulling away and being her confident self loving herself unconditionally not uh, knowing what it is she's worthy of what i'm seeing here with the world and the queen of wands is the feminine influencing these closings of cycles so you could either be the feminine here virgo or you could be the feminine for a a, a, a counterpart who also may be a virgo it's entirely possible or it doesn't you know what i mean don't this is a general reading guys okay virgo well already this is really good this is really good so let's move on to the second half of your reading here first set of surrounding energies for you virgo you have okay the eight of pentacles i'm just getting a very strong masculine vibe so this might be a reading for like a masculine virgo or maybe for your masculine counterpart if you are a virgo and he, and your counterpart is maybe not a virgo i don't know but i just i just feel very strongly that, that I'm, I'm i'm channeling for a masculine here and you're really doing a lot of work to work on yourself particularly but also your finances your 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 craft, your art, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is you want to achieve in this world, you're working very hard at it. But this also could be the feminine too. I really do. I feel like both, both sides of the equation are really working very hard on themselves and their finances and, and their careers and whatnot. But for some reason, this is, really, this, this is really pointing to the masculine side of the situation. But again, it doesn't have to. Take it as it resonates. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with... Ooh, they're holy moly. Holy moly, the king of wands. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So it really feels like right now you are very focused on your finances. You could also be very focused on your creative endeavors because the wands suit can represent creativity, creative expression. But there's the masculine I was picking up on. So now you have the lovers with the two of cups and you have both the king and the queen of wands. We really could be talking twin flames here. Very interesting. Second set of surrounding energies in the, first, in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you have the two of swords. I just heard, I can't see a way out of the mess that I have made. This could be, so that definitely, I feel like that definitely came from the, fe from the masculine towards the feminine. Um, so this could be why this individual here is working so diligently on reshaping themselves, basically, is what I'm getting here with this eight of pentacles. And that absolutely could include career, money, finances, whatnot, whatever. But I do, I do feel like there is a, um, a strong sense of working on the self, redefining one's self. Two of Swords is coupled with, oh, there it is right there, Four of Cups. Unrequited love. So there may be a situation here, Virgo, where you or someone that you're divinely connected to may want to make an offer towards you, but you are not willing to accept it. Or it could be vice versa. You may want to make an offer to someone else and they're not willing to accept it. And you don't necessarily know how to get around this. I'm feeling an energy of someone un under the impression that no matter what they would do, their, their offer would still not be accepted, would maybe even never be accepted. I do kind of feel like that's an illusion, though. Even if this individual is playing that role hard body, I feel like ultimately there could be a way. I'm hearing you might just have to approach this person differently, you know? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, oh, four of pentacles. So this could be either of you, but someone has got to let go of something. 
And to be quite honest, it may be this person that is on the receiving end of some offer. That's, that, I'm going to be quite honest with you, Virgo. That's what this feels like the most. Whomever would be on the receiving end of this Ace of Cups, which is actually right here too, okay? You have this Ace of Cups here in your overall energy, and then you have that same Ace of Cups here in the Four of Cups. Whomever would be on the receiving end of this Ace of Cups needs to let go of something. Resentment, hurt, pain, fear, these are things I'm hearing. Four of Pentacles is coupled with ha, the Ace of Swords. But you know what I'm, I'm getting with this, Virgo, is what would be really helpful for something to be released would be the truth. The truth, I'm hearing the truth will, shut, will set you free. So maybe there's some sort of communication that's needed here that would help someone let go of something. There may even, there may be an energy of someone needing to communicate their desire to really have a stable foundation with someone. And this, with this four of pentacles here, that could be the stable foundation in which they can build a life together on. But also, for the individual that wants to make some sort of offer, your challenge would be to be upfront and honest and truthful about circumstances. That could be, that could be the way that, the, the, the different way that you would need to approach this person in order to get something to be let go of, to be released. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you in the second half of your reading here, Virgo. You have, oh, beautiful, the sun. Ugh. I'm hearing everything is going to be okay. Everything already is okay. I'm also getting a distinct Leo energy with this sun. You might be dealing with a Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. The sun is coupled with the five of cups. Very, very interesting, Virgo. Look, the sun is rising here. That's what I just heard. The sun is rising, showing you that all is not lost. You still have these two cups behind you. So this could be a situation, Virgo, where there may still very much be love in this situation for you between the two of you. And what was really needed here was for the toxic elements of the, of the connection to be released first. So someone, it feels like someone is caught up in the depths of despair and they need to pull themselves out of it. They need to realize that the sun is shining. The sun is illuminating what is needed to be healed. The sun is also saying that all is not lost. Everything is probably much better than it seems. And it could be a situation, Virgo, in which you are now in a much better state than you were in the past. You are now much more capable of taking on this type of connection, relationship, circumstance, whatever this represents for you. This is a really great reading, Virgo. I'm very happy for you. Let's get your Oracle guidance. <clears throat> All right, for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. Let's see what we've got for you. For my Virgos, what is your Oracle guidance for the month of December 2019? Woo! Okay, well, we got it. <laughs> Okay. Card number 31. Elas. Divine might foretold. Mm. Okay. So this says. Interesting. What some, so, oh, someone else got this card. I don't remember who it was. Anyway. El, Elas. You know what is correct. 
El Haas. El Haas, okay. You know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromising yourself creates a loss of soul. Gemini got this card. Right, I remember now. Okay. There are times when it may seem as though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without negative repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective, yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual worlds. Restorative action and balancing, uh, uh, sorry, restorative action and balancing fairness is always in action at a higher level, according to divine timing and wisdom. Stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you will win in a way that brings benefit to many. In a, reading, in a reading, this says, don't let yourself down with behavior or attitudes that are unworthy of you. You have divinity within you and a right to be in the world with dignity, grace, and integrity. Whether in a small matter of apparent insignificance to anyone other than yourself, or in big matters where you feed your soul and perhaps the souls of others uh, are on the line, integrity will be your saving grace. You can be kind of heart, but also firm as you refuse to allow anyone or anything to convince you that lowering your standards of acceptable behavior is warranted. Be in right relationship with yourself and the divine. Justice will always be done, whether you see it happening or not. Put your faith in the good and true, and you will successfully continue on your path. Others are relying on you to be true to yourself more than you may realize. You are strong enough to live with honor. Wow, that's beautiful, Virgo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah, take care. Bye.